What's going on everyone? I've got the latest price guide for you for the Halloween update or AKA the witches update, which is no pun intended, a limited event. So you're only gonna be able to get these items between now and November, I think it's like November 1st. So you gotta grind all these things before November 1st. I think we only have like 12 more days from this video or so, 12 or 13. So less than two weeks to go. And so of course the prices for these items are going to skyrocket. Typically they will skyrocket as soon as they fully go limited. As soon as people can't get them anymore, they go up because because what happens is there's new players coming to the game that could never, you know, they were never able to grind it themselves. And then, you know, obviously people leave and people eat the candies and, you know, they consume certain items, they lose certain items. And of course, so the value goes up, right? Because it becomes more scarce and it gets more difficult to get and you can only trade for them. So of course the values are going to change a lot over the next couple of weeks. So knowing that and knowing that value does change often. So value can fluctuate between, you know, now and tomorrow, for example. So while I'm giving you prices now, it may change tomorrow. So be sure to keep an eye on that price guide, especially after this event goes away. Make sure you're checking this guide document, right? There is a link in the description of this video. So go to the link inside the description of this video for that price guide. It doesn't require any kind of username or password or any kind of login or anything like that. You don't, you can be completely anonymous. All it is is a Google doc. So you can go there, you can check out the prices for all items in the game. So let's go ahead and get started with this. But before I begin, if you can hit that like button and smash the subscribe button if you are new. And if you haven't watched my Halloween update video yet, as far as the overview of the update and how to get all these items yourself, go watch that. I'm going to include that in the description as well. So you can go check that video out and you can go watch that before we get into this, because if you're going to be looking at some of these items, you're going to be like, okay, that's great, but how do I get it? So you can go watch that video and I show you how to get everything in this update. So first up, we're gonna talk about candies. So candy includes orange candy, chocolate bars, and lollipops. So they pretty much do the same thing. When you use them, they will turn you into a rat. They do turn you into a rat and it actually does heal you. So the candy will heal you if you eat it, but at the same time, it's gonna turn you into a rat. And I think you actually kind of teleport too after you're done. So, you know, be careful with that. I did notice that when the witch turns you into a rat, you don't actually take any damage. I'm not sure if that's the case so like with regular mobs, like maybe if you need to get away from a mob or something, I'm, I'm going to test that out. Now, candy is kind of a weird thing. So I'm going to actually keep my prices at 10,000, but I think I'm going to raise it as soon as it goes limited. This is going to skyrocket for me. I would say it's probably going to jump up to maybe like, I would say 100,000 a piece. So right now, as of today, as of this video, the Discord is trading orange candy, lollipops, and chocolate bars for about 30,000 coins. And I'm actually saying they're worth about 10,000 coins. And the reason is, is I can actually get thousands of these very easily. So I can actually AFK grind these very easily. It's not hard to get them. It's actually easier to get candy than it is to get gears, obviously. You know, so green gears, blue gears and all that. It's actually way easier to get candy. So for the candy to actually be worth more than that doesn't make a whole lot of sense until it goes limited. Now it does heal you, of course, but this is one of the most expensive foods currently in the game. So the only reason why it's going for a lot right now on the Discord trading channels is one is people are buying it because it's cool. And two is because no one really knows what it's worth. So to me that they're worth about 10,000 coins, you're gonna see the price dropping on the Discord pretty soon here. My guess is it's gonna continue to tank and plummet to about like 5,000 a piece until the update goes away. Once the update goes away, then it's gonna, like I said, it's gonna shoot straight up. I would say it's probably gonna be worth about 100,000 plus. So buy them while you can, buy it while you can, stock up on it. You know, if I could, I would, you know, I would have probably about 10 to 20,000 of each piece inside my inventory as soon as I can. So I'm gonna be trading for a lot of these and grinding for a lot of them. Because remember, just because it goes limited doesn't mean it's ever gonna go down. Because this is probably one of the best things you can invest in besides the Formula 86. I would say this is gonna to be the one to invest in because it is a consumable item. What that means is you're going to eat it and that means supply is going to continue to diminish. Assuming people aren't duping them heavily. If people are duping them heavily, then this is not ever going to be the case. Assume you have a million out there, right? So say there's a million of these out there. Well, as people eat them after the event's over, obviously the supply is going to continue to decrease as people eat or craft these items because if they are a craftable item and they are a food. If anything, they're going to go up. There's probably They're probably one of the best investments you can make right now besides pump pumpkin seeds. And speaking of pumpkin seeds, pumpkin seeds are next. So pumpkin seeds, I actually value them at 500,000 a piece right now, because I know you can get a 500,000 piece. People are, you know, buying them. They are going for about 200,000 on the discord, but I would say they're actually worth a lot more than what people are selling them at. And I have a feeling the 200,000 coin mark is people that have either duped or, um, cause they are duping them. 
So my guess is we're actually gonna continue to see this to drop, but I would actually say hold your value at 500,000. Don't get rid of them at 200,000 a piece because these are gonna be really, really rare, right? Because as soon as they go out, we only have two weeks for this and the game gets so many new users every week. There are so many new players coming into this game every week that all of these new users, especially during the holidays, you remember holidays are gonna skyrocket with players. So if you're selling your seeds for too cheap, you're gonna regret it. So keep your seeds because people are gonna be buying these in the tens of thousands. So, you know, keep a hold of these. You, you can't get them after the event. Again, I would say 500,000 a piece, maybe less, like you might be able to drop down to 300,000, but I think 200,000 is just way too cheap. I would not sell my pumpkin seeds for less than, I would say 300,000, maybe 350. But like I said, I'm pricing them at 500,000. Try to sell them at 500,000 if you can. Next, we're gonna talk about pumpkins. So obviously after you, you know, plant a pumpkin seed, you're going to make pumpkins. So you're growing pumpkins. The pumpkins you can actually sell to the vendor for 10 coin a piece. And and the only reason why you're going to do that is, you know, if you're a new player and you're just looking for free seeds, I mean, obviously it's going to be better than growing wheat, but because a new player can basically join the game and start grinding pumpkin seeds right away as farms, they're going to be obviously very cheap to sell the pumpkins back to the vendor, right? You know, at least the, the merchant, I guess you can call them merchants. I call them vendors, but same thing. Vending, vendor or merchant is exactly the same thing, um, at least in business terms. And so you have these pumpkins, right? That aren't really worth worth anything right now. Obviously there's not that much of a demand. I, I price them at a thousand. Discord's pricing them at two thousand. So so I think however you want to price it is fine. Like if someone's gonna buy them, they're probably not gonna buy, you know, ten thousand of them. So you know if you want to price them up a, a bit more, go for it. But I would actually just say hold on to these and just, you know, one of these days if you have fifty thousand plus inside your inventory, maybe you can sell them for a lot. You know, blocks are always used and people are always gonna want orange. And because they are limited, they're gonna go limited later. So even though I'm pricing them at a thousand right now, they're probably gonna jump to about five to 10,000. So keep, you know, so consider that as well. Next we got Formula 86. So Formula 86 is actually crafted from candy. So three of each candy, right? So I actually have these priced at 100,000 right now. I actually had it for half of what I actually think it's valued at because again, you do need three of each candy. So if you think about it, if I'm pricing my candy at 10,000 a piece and you need three of each, then that should be 90,000. So it's at 100,000 for me. So ignore some of the shots where I say actually 50,000 because I, I, I messed up on the value there. So it isn't too much now. The only thing I, I would say is it is kind of a cool little gag or prank type of item, but that's all it does. It's just it's just gonna be a great prank item. It's actually really, really annoying too, but it is great because there is trick or treat and this is the trick, right? So the Formula 86 is trick on you. So I have them priced at 100,000. The Discord is selling them at 200,000. So you're gonna probably see that continue to drop. Now, again, after the update goes away, this is probably gonna skyrocket to maybe like 250,000 plus, right? Whatever the price of the candy goes up to. So if the price goes up to 100,000, per candy, then you're going to be seeing this go up to close to a million a piece. So right now you got a really good deal. Now is the time to invest in these items. So if you're buying these things up, buy them now. Buy, buy. I would say buy all of this stuff, stick it on an alt for, you know, like six months and then make a ton of coins because you never know. They might actually increase the 50 billion coin limit at some point. So, you know, consider that and start investing. And next we got the jack-o'-lantern. So the jack-o'-lantern is made from pumpkin and a torch. They're not worth a ton but they are worth more than a pumpkin. So even though they don't require much to make, the fact that they actually glow and a lot of people are just lazy and they don't wanna have to craft them, they're gonna go for about 10,000 for me. They're going for about 30,000 on the Discord, but for me, they're worth about 10,000. And they are one of the cooler looking furniture pieces or blocks because they got that face and they glow. So I would actually say jack-o'-lanterns sticking around about the 10,000 mark, probably going up pretty soon. And then obviously skyrocketing a whole lot more as soon as the update's gone. And lastly, but most importantly, we got the Witch's Trophy, which is one of the coolest looking items. So I have this price at 5 million right now. They were going for about 50 million plus yesterday. And today they're going for about 5 million on the Discord trading. And I sometimes still see them for 40 million plus. So you're going to be seeing these priced between 5 to 10 million. I would say it's worth no less than 5 million. And the reason why I say that is again, you shouldn't sell these. You shouldn't sell these. And if you do sell them, don't get less than 5 mil. Even though people are underpricing them on the Discord, keep a hold of these. Sell them for at least 5 million. They are limited to one per account. And most are grinding these on alts. And I've actually grinded for these myself over and over and over and over on my alts. And I would say they're still worth about 10 million for the amount of effort that you spend on each account. And then you got to spend the time to actually transfer them from each account. It's a big pain in the butt. And people are going to want a ton of these. I mean, especially for decorations, they're going to want a ton of them. So I would say, you know, stick to your guns there. Stay firm with your price. At some point, it's going to go up after the update goes out. I mean, you can sell if you really need the coins, especially if you don't have coins, like why, you know, but I, I'm pretty sure you're going to get a buy right. So I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, 
was, hit that like button. And don't forget to keep an eye on that price guide because again, prices are going to continue to change for this game. Because the game's constantly changing, prices are always changing with it. So again, you can check out that link in the description and bookmark it for updates. So good luck with your trades and I'll see you tomorrow.